What's up, everyone? I hope everyone is having a great day. Um, happy Wednesday to everyone. Um, I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Um, if you're not, I'm sending blessings and goodness your way. And as always, y'all, let's get into this message. So today, you guys, my message is in regards to having compassion, sympathy, and empathy for people that you do not know. And this is in regards to, um, you know, the rapper Takeoff just died, uh, yesterday. And again, this is not a video based about him and his death. It's just about, you know, when people say things like, oh, I don't understand how people are getting on here about, you know, sad about people that they don't know, or just, you know, expressing or going on, carrying on about people that they don't know. Y'all, they, they be like, oh, y'all acting like y'all knew them. Listen, there's a few things that you have to know and understand that in life, we are all connected to people. And a lot of the times it is, for different reasons and in different ways. Listen, having compassion is what it is whenever you can express your feelings and your hurt or your sadness about someone who you don't know that has passed away. And a lot of the times, most people are connected to these people whether they met them in person or not. See, because like I say, God connects us to different people the same way you can have mentors that you do not know personally that you have never met, but you have them during via the internet, right? People that you look up to, people who you are inspired by. This, these are people that you are connected to and God does this. He doesn't only connect us to people that are around us, you know, he, connect, he connects us to people that we do not know or probably will never meet. And that is why it's calling it's called having sympathy, empathy, and compassion, y'all. So for those of you who, who can easily say, I don't understand, I don't understand, maybe it's because you lack those things. Or either it's because you weren't connected to that person and that is okay. But don't talk down on others who show their hurt or sadness for someone that has just got their life taken away or someone who has just ultimately died. You know, it's just the way that their heart posture is set up. And think of it think of it also in this aspect, even though this way is a little different, but still the same, the same way we can love and trust and believe in a God who we do not see, who we had to get to know through the Bible, right? So it is the same way. It is all dependent upon your heart posture and what your heart feels, the emotions that you have inside. And again, if you lack these certain type of emotions, then you're not going to understand when someone is, is hurt. So for anyone who expresses your emotions, when someone passes away that you don't know, I'm here to tell you that that is very, very, very much okay. Because we all get connected to people through music, through whatever it is that they offer in life. We all get connected to people, especially over the years. You get to know them through social media. You get to know them through their lives. You know what I'm saying? So that's why sometimes we feel like we know the person even though we never met them. So when something tragic happens to them, guess what? We're going to be affected too. So I just wanted to get on here and tell anyone <clears throat> who thinks negatively of people doing that, that listen, you don't understand maybe because you lack the emotions that people have, or maybe you're just not overall connected to that person. And again, I also want to say that the same way that, you know, we seek after, <clears throat> you know, celebrities or whoever, 
that we the way we seek after those who we don't know and become to love them and love what they do is the same type of heart posture that we need to have towards God. The same way that we need to learn how to get to know him and how to love him even though we can't see him. So listen, also the emotions stem from your brain and your heart. It goes hand in hand. It's a two-way street. So again, if you lack these things, there's something that you need to sit down with yourself and evaluate because again, it's very much nothing wrong with having sympathy and empathy and compassion for people that you don't know. Because also the Bible says you have to love your neighbor like you love yourself. So as always, listen, let's be motivated. But most importantly, let's stay inspired.